we're going to take a look at a legal problem called minimum window substring. So we're given a two strings, so S and T, and we want to return the minimum window in S such that it contains all the characters in T. Uh, if there's no such window in S, we're just going to return an empty string. Um, and then th note that if there is uh, if there is a such window, it is guaranteed that there will always be only one unique minimal window in S. So here you can see we have an example of, uh, of a string right in s and we also have a string in t we want to find the minimal window that has um, in this case minimal window in s that contains all the characters in t right so in this case we can have um, a d o b e c right contains all the characters in t but this is not a minimal window right this is not a minimum substring so in this case we can choose the minimum substring that contains all the characters in t will be b a and c so in this case, we're just going to return the string um, as the output of the function. And uh, here you can see we have another example, right? And in this case, we're just returning A because this substring right here contains all the characters in T. So we're just returning that substring. So to solve this problem, we're going to use sliding window technique. And basically, the idea is pretty simple. We are going to expand our window if we uh, don't satisfy the condition. And uh, if we do satisfy, do satisfy the condition, we're going to start to contract our window. So what is the condition that we're trying to satisfy? In this case, we are, we're going to have a window. If this current window has all the characters that we have in T, that means we satisfy the condition. So until we satisfy the condition, now after we satisfy the condition, we're going to start to contract our window. And if we don't satisfy the condition, now we're going to keep expanding our window. So that's our goal. Right, we want to find the minimum window substring. We want to find the minimum substring, right? So the size of the substring, we want to find the minimum. So initially, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a table, right, that keep track of um, all the characters that we have and their number of appearance in T. Then we're going to slide our window to see if our current window contains all those characters. So how can we do that? Well, what we can do is we're going to use a counter. Right, so after we saw a character, right, let's say we saw A in our window, we're just gonna decrement that character in our table by one. And after we decrement that character by one, right, after we decrement the appearance of that character by one, we check to see if that number hits negative. If it's not negative, that means we know that that character, uh, we found a character that contains in T. So we can just increment the counter by one. And the counter, basically the counter is gonna keep track of um, how many characters we found in T that we have within our window, right? So don't worry, we're gonna go through a uh, one by one, step by step, okay? So basically we're gonna have our window like this. We saw one, right, we saw A, so we're gonna decrement A by one. We found A because in this case, A is not negative number, so we're just gonna increment that counter by one, and we now D. D, we can just decrement D by one. Now we have D starting at zero, so we decrement by one, now it's negative one. Right, so the counter we don't move because now d is now negative one, right? Since it's a negative number. Now we have o, right? We imagine we're going to do the same thing until we get to a point where we find all the characters within our uh, our window, right? So now we have, I believe now b zero, c is now zero, and um, there's other characters da da da, right? So we're now we're going to start to contract a window. So what we're gonna do is we know that now counter is now three because we found all the characters, right? We found all the characters in, 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 uh, in T in, within our window. So now we're gonna contract our window. We're going to uh, basically check to see if the counter, so while the counter is still equal to size, the size of the T, T string, right? We're gonna contract our window by first removing the left element, right? Removing the left element out of it by adding, incrementing that character appearance in a table by one. So now A is one. And uh, because we remove an element, that result of that uh, appearance is bigger than zero, then we go and incre decrement the counter by one, right? Because now if we were to shrink our window, we lost a character that was in our window, right? We, we lost a character that's from T within our window. So now we're going to start expand our window again so because this is a long process i don't want to do this but you get an idea right if you don't get it you can rewind this this section and then uh rewatch it but basically you get an idea
So I'm going to go in just much more detail in the code. OK, so the goal is pretty simple. We first going to um, have a um, have an integer array, right? That covers uh, 128 um, sides, which basically um, contains all the uh, ASCII characters. So we're going to define the table, right? Basically, we're just defining a table. And then we're going to define our um, make sure we're getting all the all the elements, right? We want to make sure we um, incre increment the appearance of uh, all the characters in T by one. So we increase or increment or um, yeah, increment uh, each character in T by one. Okay, then we're going to define the pointers. Okay, and then we're also going to define a couple of variables. So the the one variable that we're going to define is going to be the minimum length, which is keep track of the minimum length that we can find. And once we find the minimum length, we're also going to um, update the string that we're going to return at the end. So we go have a answer that we're going to return at the end, right? This is going to basically keep track of the string, the substring that has the minimum window, right? Then we're going to use slide window technique to uh, find the min window. All right, so then at the end, we are returning the answer. Okay, now for our table, we're going to have integer array, right, is equal to new integer 100, 128. Okay, so the high size of 128. Then we're going to increment uh, increment each character in T by one. So in this case, we just say, uh, let's, I think it's really good to convert a string into character array. So let's do that. So character array. S dot two character array and character T array is equal to T dot two character array. All right, once that's done, we're going to increment that by one. So for each character in T, right? So make sure we're, we're uh, the T is the, the, the string that we're, um, that we see, right? So we want to make sure that all the, all the, um, all the characters within, or I should say, yeah, all the characters are within T must uh, must be uh, must be contained in the in the in the window that we found in S. So we're going to say uh, array, right? At current character, we're just going to increment that by one because we increment because that character appeared in T. So we want we're going to increment that that uh, that character in the table by one because we found one, right? So now we're going to define our pointers. We have our left, which is zero, starts at zero. The right is also starts at zero, okay? And we're going to define our minimum length. So min length in this case is initially zero, uh, integer dot max. So that when we found a element that, when we found a length, we want to make sure we can be able to update that minimum length. And then we're going to define the, uh, the answer, which is going to be a string, right? Answer initially is basically null, okay? empty string let's yeah let's put it in empty string so that if we if the at the end you know we can just return answer if uh, um, if we don't find any right so let's try to find our minimum window so our right pointer is less than n so n is pretty much just s array dot length okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to because we are going to add this character into onto our window, right? What we're going to do is we're just going to decrement that character's appearance by one in our table. If we um, going to add this element, add the current element um, to our window, right? So basically, the idea is pretty simple, right? After we add um, array, sorry, decrement this element appearance in array at s array. Uh, it's gonna let's let's make it simple uh, simpler, right? So the basically the current character current character is equal to s array, okay? R that's the current character. We could we're just gonna say we're gonna decrement that character by one. If that character is bigger than uh, bigger than or equal to zero, then we can. Um, increment the counter by one because we found a character that contains in T. Okay, 
you can do it however you want. Like, like you can say if the, this character is, um, you know, is uh, bigger than negative one, right? But I'm just going to do it in this condition. But you get an idea, right? So first, we're going to add this current character onto our window. We're pretty much, this is pretty much our expanding face, expand our window face. Okay, and then we're going to define the sh shrinking our window or contract or yeah. So shrink window, the window, if we satisfy the condition, right? If we satisfy the condition uh, when the counter is going to um, equal to the size of T string, right? We pretty much found all the elements that we have in our T string. Then we're gonna make sure we update the the size of um, our window if um, you know if our current window is smaller than the minimum length, right? So if current current window current current length or current window is equal to right minus left plus one, right? This is our current window. All the elements that we have in our window. So if our current window is smaller than the minimum length. Then we're going to make sure we say minimum length now is equal to current window. And uh, we want to make sure we say answer now is equal to um, s dot substring, right? So we want to get the substring to, from left to right plus one. And the reason why we do plus one here is because when we do substring, we want to make sure we including that element on the right pointer, the, the, the element that the right pointer is pointing to. Right, so once we've done that, we're going to um, basically shrink our window now. So uh, once we update our minimal length and our current answer uh, 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 variable, we're going to make sure we move the left pointer one to the right. And then once we shrink our window, uh, we're pretty much going to move the right pointer one to the right. Okay, so once we move the right pointer one to the right, we're going to return answer. So yeah, pretty much at the end, we're going to return answer um, because if, let's say if minimum length doesn't really change at all, if it's still integer dot max value, at least we didn't, that means that we didn't find it, right? So answer is still gonna equal to empty, empty string according to this part of, of the code. So we can just return answer if, um, uh, in this case, if we cannot find it, right? But same thing, if we find it, we're gonna make sure we update answer. So now let's try to run our code. Uh, oh, another thing that I forgot to do is probably have to create this variable and make sure we update this variable, of course. So we're gonna have our counter, which initially is equal to zero, right? And uh, here, basically what we're gonna do is if we found a character, like let's say we, uh, we found a character, right? So we found the character, we want to make sure we, um, so in this case, character left char is equal to um, array at left, right? And then what we're going to do is this, we're going to say if, um, if array, uh, sorry, that should be, hold on, that should be s array at left, okay? So if array at left character, right, if we, after we, Increment that by one. Whoops. After we increment that by one, if it's still uh, bigger than um, if it's bigger than uh, zero, right? Then what we can do is we can just in, uh, decrement the counter by one. That means that we lost one character that was in our window uh, from t, and then we're going to uh, increment our left pointer one to the right. So now let's try to run our code, and uh, let's try with a few more examples. And now let's try to submit our code. And you can see this is how we solve this problem in a linear time complexity. So there you have it. And thank you for watching.